Hello everyone! Welcome to Study with Roma. This channel is created to help students, parents, or anyone interested to learn math. And this is episode 13. Today, we will talk about finding a missing term in a proportion. Let's consider this word problem. If a slice of pizza costs 20 pesos, how much would be the cost of 5 slices of pizza? This problem can be written as a proportion. 1 is to 20 is equal to 5 is to n. To solve this, we have to find the value of n. To solve the problem, we have to find the value of n. So step 1, get the products of means and extremes. The product of means, which is 20 times 5, is equal to 100. The product of extremes, which is 1 times n, is equal to 1n or simply n. Step 2, find the missing term. The product of means must be equal to the product of extremes. Therefore, 100 is equal to n, or we can write it as n equals 100. Let's try more examples on finding a missing term in a proportion. Example number 1, 3 is to 10 is equal to n is to 30. Step 1, Get the products of means and extremes. The product of means, which is 10 times n, is equal to 10n. The product of extremes, which is 3 times 30, is equal to 90. Step 2. Find the missing term. Product of means equals product of extremes. So 10n is equal to 90. To solve for n, divide both sides by 10. So 10n divided by 10 is equal to n, and 90 divided by 10 is equal to 9. So n is equal to 9. Let's check the product of means. 10 times n is equal to 10n, is equal to 10 times 9, which is 90. Therefore, n is equal to 9. Example number 2, 8 is to n is equal to 4 is to 15. Step 1, get the product of means and extremes. The product of means, which is n times 4, is equal to 4n. The product of extremes, which is 8 times 15, is equal to 120. Step 2. Find the missing term. The product of means is equal to the product of extremes. Therefore, 4n is equal to 120. Divide both sides by 4. 4n divided by 4 is equal to n, and 120 divided by 4 is equal to 30. Therefore, n is equal to 30. Let's check the product of means. n times 4 is equal to 4n is equal to 4 times 30, which is equal to 120. Therefore, n is equal to 30. Example number 3. n is to 12 is equal to 6 is to 9. Step 1. Get the products of means and extremes. The product of means, which is 12 times 6, is equal to 72. The product of extremes, which is n times 9, is equal to 9n. Step 2. Find the missing term. The product of extremes 
is equal to the product of means. Therefore, 9n is equal to 72. Divide both sides by 9. 9n divided by 9 is equal to n, and 72 divided by 9 is equal to 8. Therefore, n is equal to 8. To check, let's get the product of extremes. n times 9 is equal to 9n, which is equal to 9 times 8, which is equal to 72. Therefore, n is 8. For our last example, we have 16 is to 4 is equal to 24 is to n. Step 1, get the products of means and extremes. The product of means which is 4 times 24 is equal to 96. The product of extremes, which is 16 times n, is equal to 16n. Step 2. Find the missing term. The product of extremes is equal to the product of means. Therefore, 16n is equal to 96. Divide both sides by 16. 16n divided by 16 is equal to n, and 96 divided by 16 is equal to 6. Therefore, n is equal to 6. To check, let's get the product of extremes. 16 times n is equal to 16n, which is equal to 16 times 6, which is 96. Therefore, n is equal to 6. And that's it for today's lesson. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell. See you next time. Bye!